So we'll go behind the scenes today with you guys and share the tech stack, aka the 12 tools that I use to run my million dollar Amazon FBA business. And hopefully this gives you an idea or at least an inspiration so you can see what it would take to run an online business. And as a bonus, we'll also go over what's in my everyday backpack. So let's get started. Number one is cashback extensions. You might've seen this logo before from soccer player Lionel Messi's jersey, or if you follow basketball, it'll be under the Warriors, Steph Curry. And I'm specifically talking about Rakuten and Top Cashback. This would be the first thing that you would want to install or else you're gonna be leaving money on the table and I'm sure you don't want that. Yes, the cashback percentage might be small, but I'm telling you, it can add up. I know a few Amazon sellers that literally take home over $100,000 in just cashback, which is crazy. If you think about it, that's more than some of these people's full-time salary. So definitely don't sleep on getting these cashbacks. And last year, I was able to take home $15,252.65, uh, both from Rakuten and Top Cashback combined. If you're buying inventory online to resell name brand items, all these cashback can definitely add up. You know, you can use this money to go on your dream vacation. You know, you can use it maybe <laughs> for rent or use it to buy more inventory, which would be a smart thing to do. Not to mention, this does not include all the business credit card points that you could be getting. So if you have a Chase or American Express, this is just the cherry on top that you would be getting. Rakuten and Top Cash Back, uh, both are free to sign up and both of them are Google Chrome extensions. Basically, they just pop up if you are at a retail website and you compare the two to see which one gives you a better cashback percentage. You then activate that and all that's all you have to do. You know, once you buy something from that website, the cashback company uh, will then credit your account. Keep in mind, this can take, you know, 30 to 60 days, depending on the retail website where you're shopping from. And also my favorite thing is that both of these cashback do provide potential coupon or discounts that can use on websites, which is nice because it can help lower, you know, your buy costs, which in thus return, hopefully gives you more profit uh, or return on investment. Number two is Ace and Zen. Ace and Zen is by far my favorite profit calculator because it will show you everything you will need to make better decisions when you're trying to potentially buy products for your business. Unfortunately, I don't have an affiliate link, but check the description down below. Maybe I can reach out for them. Maybe they can give me one in the future that you can use that can potentially save you money as well. So yeah, it's a Chrome extension that shows up on all Amazon products and you can see all the fees associated with it, all the shipping costs that may get charged, the best seller rank, how many times it sells per month, how many people you're competing with. So all in all, you will have all the information that you need before buying a product. So it answers your questions and eliminate the need to you to make a decision whether the product will be profitable or not. I did try another profit calculator before. It was called Rev Seller. It was good. It did the job, but Ace and Zen is by far way better. The number one reason is that Ace and Zen constantly updates their software. So if Amazon does change, you know, their fees uh, or their storage and all that stuff, rest be assured that Ace and Zen gives you the most accurate information. And the coolest thing about Ace and Zen is that it allows you to transfer all the data of any products by one click. So you press the G button, basically the Google Sheets logo, and it transfers all the data to your Google Sheets. And previously, before I found out about Ace and Zen, I would have to transfer all the information manually one by one, and it can take up a couple minutes. And if you're doing that throughout the whole day, you're bound to make an error or mistake just because you're looking at so many data and information at the screen. And it happened to me personally. So having to click one button to transfer all the data can literally save you a lot of time. So number three leads us to Google Sheets. It's gonna cost you zero dollars and all you have to do is sign up. It's by far our most used application for the business as a team as well for a couple of reasons. Number one is that we use it for our business lead sheet. All of my employees put all the potential leads that they had found in terms of the Google Sheets and everyone has access to it, which is beautiful because also everyone works at home and across the world. Number two is that I personally use Google Sheets to keep track of my cash flow. So that means all the credit card balances, all the money that I'm getting from Amazon. So all in one place and I check it every Monday so I can keep track of how much I can spend during the week. So it's a nice way to get organized and see your credit card balance at the same place. One thing that I guarantee you will learn in terms of running an Amazon FBA business is how to balance your cash flow. It's very important as it's the vital part of your business because if you don't have a good cash flow, then your business is not gonna grow. Number four is Gatita. If you haven't seen the video, I did interview Gatita's founder, Yoni Mazur. Uh, he used to sell on Amazon and his business sold over $100 million in revenue, which is just crazy. 
But one thing they did find out and was bothering them was the amount of money they were losing because of inventory damage or just get lost in Amazon warehouse. Amazon is so big that it's bound to happen, but obviously we don't want this as sellers. So to solve this issue, Yoni had created Gatita. It's built for Amazon sellers. So that way they can get reimbursements back, whether that's damaged inventory or lost inventory once they reach to Amazon's warehouse. As a business owners, we already do a lot of things in terms of our business. You know, if you're just starting out, you could be doing the packing, the shipping, the sourcing of the products, the list goes on. The last thing you would want is to spend more time doing the things on the back end where you have to keep track of like you know reimbursements or lost inventory and stuff like that so Gatita had solved that for you what's nice about Gatita it's a hands-off experience you don't have to do anything if they don't find anything then they don't get paid so that's what's really cool about their business I do have a referral code below that you can use what it's gonna do is gonna save you your first $400 that Gatita will find in terms of reimbursements then after that Gatita will take 25% of any inventory reimbursements that they will find. So if they had found, you know, $100, they get $25 and that's pretty much part of the deal. And all in all, it saves you a lot of time because if you have to do it yourself, it can take, you know, a lot of time going back and forth with the seller support. You have to provide some documents. So it just makes it easier for you in general. Number five is Keepa, AKA your cheat sheet. Most people know Keepa to use in their desktop, but a lot of people don't know is that you can download the app version in your phone, which is super handy if you're doing retail arbitrage, because if you're scanning something like, you know, in, in store, you're gonna wanna know the ranking, the data of how many times it sells per month, how many sellers you're competing with. It doesn't matter if you're finding an item in store that can give you a lot of product, but if the ranking is in the millions, then it's never gonna sell. So that's why Keepa is handy in both in the desktop version and in your phone as well. So yeah, all in all, Keepa is a must tool if you are an Amazon seller. I did make a video with that going in depth, so go ahead and check that out. It brings so much value in terms of running the Amazon business because if this Keepa app was $500, I would easily pay for it just because how much valuable it is. As I mentioned, it is your cheat sheet because it'll show your price history, all the data that you can go back whenever the item that you're looking at first was sold on Amazon, uh, how many sellers in there, and again, all in all, you have the information that you may need in order to make a decision to see if it's a good buy or a bad buy. And the best thing is that Keepa only costs you like $20 a month. Number six is Discord. I love Discord. It's what I use for communication and the best part is that it's free. The crazy thing is that I didn't find out about Discord until like two years ago because I've always thought only, you know, like Twitch streamers or gamers had used it. But lo and behold, Discord is pretty much a one-stop shop for everything, you know, for video, audio and chat as well. So I use Discord for our weekly video meetings with my employees. Uh, we also have a team chat that had created for our daily communications if we're looking at you know products or any discussions we may have. And it's so handy as well because you can use it in your phone and not just in your desktop. So if there's any notification that happens or if you need to take a video call on the go, you can definitely do that with Discord on the app on your phone. I also use Discord to join other communities. You know, I have a group for YouTube. I have another group for Amazon. And if you didn't know, we do have one that you can join. The link is down below. Check it out. It's good to be in a community where, you know, if you're an Amazon seller, have the same goals as you, you can ask questions. So it's all good together if you wanna be in the same mindset for everyone else. Number seven is Be Cool, which is my repricer. It is the AI repricer that I use that automatically prices all of my inventory. All I have to do is set my minimum price that I'm willing to sell the product and a maximum as well. And after that, it's pretty much hands off and the AI will determine what price to sell within that range that I had inputted. The repricer is more of an advanced tool for an Amazon seller. So it's a good rule of thumb. If you start selling between five to $10,000 in revenue, that would be a good time to start investing on a repricer like Be Cool. And there's a bunch of them out there. And what's nice about it is that Be Cool starts at $50 a month. Uh, the one I have is the AI version, so I pay about $150 per month, which is not bad for the value you're getting. It's definitely the one I would recommend for you if you are starting Amazon FBA. So number eight is DS Amazon Quick View. Look, it's another free Google Chrome extension, which is awesome, right? It's a free Google Chrome extension that allows you to see a quick view of products when you're on amazon.com. So it's important if you are seeing if how many competitions in there, 
and to see if you're competing with the giant, aka Amazon or not. It's super useful because it's gonna save you a lot of time. At a quick glance, I'll be able to see if I'm competing with a lot of sellers or if Amazon's in it because I'm not even gonna bother sourcing for that product. So I'm basically just filtering it down to the best products that I can see right off the bat. And if you wanna see this tool in action, check out my wholesale video. I use it in action and how I was able to find wholesale brands. Number nine is Weiss. Weiss is a payment format that I use to play my employees because they are located in the Philippines and in India. It's a great payment format because you can use it also for freelancers or contract labor that you may need regarding your business. And what I like about WISE is that the transaction is one of the lowest I've seen in terms of sending money abroad. And what's really cool about it is that it connects to a lot of bank accounts locally to wherever your person is located from you are sending money to. Number 10 is QuickBooks. This one might be self-explanatory, but I use QuickBooks majority to do my accounting. So QuickBooks syncs up with my Amazon seller account, business account, and credit cards as well. When you're first starting, you can definitely use Google Sheets to keep track of all your expenses. That's what I did. But once you start to scale, there's just so many transactions that you have to keep track. So QuickBooks makes that easy for me. And it goes hand in hand with the next software that I'm gonna go over with. So number 11 is Inventory Labs. This is another must if you're an Amazon seller. Inventory Lab can be used for accounting, but also good to see where you are in terms of inventory, or you can use it to see your profit and loss statements. Not only that, you can use Inventory Lab to do your Amazon shipment, which is, I found, way easier than going to the actual Amazon seller dashboard. What it does is that Inventory Lab allows you to select all of the items that you're about to ship and lets you print all of the labels that you may need before sending it to Amazon. Inventory Lab costs about $69, allows you to have multiple users. So I have one for each of my employee, which is nice. So that way they can just use their own logins when they need to use Inventory Lab. Number 12, the last one is Seller Amp. So Seller Amp does a lot of things. It's a nice software that you know could be used for price calculator. You can see the ranking of an item, how many times it sells per month. But what I usually use Seller Amp for is to do storefront stock. Storefront stocking is basically I go into someone's storefront and see what kind of items they are selling. So it's good for me and for my employees because it's a nice technique that we can use to see what kind of inventory someone is selling. And it kind of gives us an idea to see what other products might be out there. And if I was to start Amazon over again, it's definitely one of the techniques that I would master right from the beginning because you can find profitable product right off the bat. And what's nice about it is that when you're looking at someone's storefront, you can see the keep a chart. So at a quick glance, you can see if Amazon is selling on that listing or not, and you can see if the price is trending down or up. And for $20, it's definitely a great value for that. And I also use it to see how many are in stock for competition because they do show that feature in terms of their Google Chrome extension. All right, guys, we are in the bonus section. The first one is my Reminders app. So the Reminders is an iPhone app that you can use. It's super powerful, but also annoying at the same time. So the app will constantly send you notifications and reminders throughout the day if you don't complete a certain task, which is, again, annoying. But at the same time, it kind of forces you to do the task that you had set for yourself or maybe you can push it back an hour or two, but at the end of the day, it will push you to do that task or else you're not gonna be able to do it. And I've tried using other free apps out there like Google Keep or using even the notepads, but it's not as effective as the notification that they send you. And as far as I know, uh, I think it's only available on the iPhone currently, so if you're an Android, uh, Hopefully you can find an alternative to it. But yeah, as a business owner, there's a lot of things going on. So it's good to kind of write a task immediately and you can set whether that's an hour from now, five minutes or a couple of days from now and it'll just pop up. Because as you know, we're just constantly getting busier and busier. Our attention span is slowly shrinking as well, which doesn't help. All right, guys, we're gonna go over what's in my everyday bag. So the first one is going to be my MacBook Pro. Uh, this 2021, it has the M1 chip, super fast. Uh, I had the 2016 version of this uh, previously, so it lasted me, you know, uh, six, seven years, whatever that is. 
Um, but this one, uh, it's super fast. It can handle pretty much anything you throw at it. It's mostly work related, but again, at the end of the day, you wanna have a fast computer because that's gonna help with your business. So whether you're traveling or whether you're at home, uh, the best thing about the laptop is that you can be portable. So that was the MacBook on the laptop uh, section of it. So in the second compartment, uh, I always carry a book. So this book I'm currently reading is Turning Pro. I've read this previously, but it's a book that you can reread uh, anytime over and over again. It's just simple uh, principles that um, to base your life on, especially if I'm endeavoring in this YouTube journey. This kind of remind me of like an artist, whether your work gets praised or not, you still continue doing your work. So definitely a great book to have with me when I'm traveling or I just, I just want to read all in all. By the way, if you're wondering, this is a uh, backpack by Lululemon. I like it because it has this uh, key ring holder as well. So you can put, you know, your water bottles here, your keys, uh, anything you pretty much have. And it's a black and black, which is cool as well. So right here in the front pocket, I always have this uh, Ricola. It's good for your throat and stuff like that. But uh, I refer to this as candy as well, because when I go for runs, I actually take one or two of this right here with me, just clears up my throat. But it's also excellent if you're traveling in an airplane, because I found myself having dry throat when I'm traveling for some reason. So this is definitely handy and I always have one separately there. Uh, we'll skip that one. So next one is here is I have some wired headphones just because when you're traveling, it might not be connected to Bluetooth. So it's always good must to have that over there. And if I'm recording on the go, uh, I like to use Anchor Work in terms of my wireless microphone. It's super handy, kind of works like an AirPod. So it charges in this case right here and it's pretty much sleek and I love the design on this one. And the one I'm recording this video on is on a Canon EOS R. I've had this camera for a couple of years now. It's one of the best cameras I've ever owned. And lastly, my iPhone 12, I'll be upgrading to the iPhone 15 here in a couple of days. And you definitely need a powerful phone as we do a lot of our business online now and on the go as well. So the iPhone has all of the apps that I have mentioned regarding my tech stack. And it's nice to have one that's always uh, working and in full battery as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, you might want to check this out. These are the lessons I've learned before starting an Amazon FBA business. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.